Hello YouTube, hello viewers, hello friends, and what's wrong? Welcome to all of our new viewers. We are well on our way to 1,000 subscribers, and I just want to stop and say thank you for subscribing to the channel. I'm Jacqueline from the blog DoggyPerspective.com, and at this channel, we review dog food and we discuss all things pet care and some good for your dog dog. Now today, it's just a quick um, dog food review on a canned food that I selected recently for Sophia, uh, which is called Diamond Naturals. And you can find the report on this food at the blog, thedoggyperspective.com. So we won't delay, let's go ahead and get into it. I just wanted to make sure that you have great information on a fantastic food that you can try for your dog. If you're interested in giving them some variety, I absolutely recommend Diamond Naturals for me. This particular food, I would rate this a four out of five stars. It did surprise me. It's more of a loaf than it is um, a gravy of putting a meat of, of meat meat loaf, a loose meat loaf type of a type of food. And you could actually cut and slice this into certain portions if you want it. So if you're in the mood for something new, my recommendation today is Diamond Naturals by Diamond Foods. Sophia and I tried the lamb dinner for adult dogs. This is a 13.2 ounce can. And I picked this can up in person at the local pet land pet store. So walking uh, the aisles of the pet store on the weekend, it was a little bit daunting for me. There were a lot of new choices there. Uh, lots, think about lots of noise, lots of dogs in the kennel, lots of people in the store, lots of distractions, right? So it was a little bit daunting, but you know, I just took some time to think about what Sophia would like, what she might be in the mood for. She has an opportunity to snip about the aisles in the store, pick her own snacks or areas where the snacks are actually sitting out. She selected a rawhide bone among other things. And I decided to continue with the lamb theme that we had been practicing for the month of uh, September. So there you go. I reached out for uh, the Diamond Naturals Lamb Dinner for Adult Dogs, right? Uh, this particular dog food actually has a rating of 5.0 stars. It is perfect and it is available in dry food and canned food versions. I went for the canned food version. Again, I picked this one up at my local Petland store. And some of the pluses of this particular food is the prebiotic. The food has prebiotic fibers to aid in digestion. I'm very happy with that. Uh, it is also jam-packed with superfoods. If you're into health and fitness, then you know how important superfoods are. Um, I don't share those with Sophia, however, because, I mean, it's, it's really as impractical. It's a waste if I hand her a blueberry. She's not going to do much with it, a pear, carrot, a piece of celery. She's not doing much with it. It's money down the drain if you drop it down so that she can draw, although she does go for organic carrots. However, um, my superfoods are expensive and I do not share those with Sophia because it is not practical. However, Diamond Naturals has uh, enhanced the dog food with superfoods and it's packed with vitamins and with minerals. So I like that very, very much. And here is what she got, guys. The first four ingredients in this food are lamb, lamb broth, lamb liver, and then rice flour. So yes, there's lots of meat in this product. Now for the vitamins, what she got is, among other things, D3, B12, riboflavin, vitamin A, and vitamin E. Now, Again, there's other stuff in there that just makes good sense for the health of your dogs. Again, the superfoods are there, blueberries, dried kelp, and quinoa. Now, can you believe there's quinoa in this Diamond Naturals food? I couldn't believe it. 
and as much of that stuff as I ordinarily prepare, again, she never gets any of it from me. So it's good to see it listed there among the superfoods. And I actually felt like, you know, we were sharing when she got her portion of the Diamond Natural. So that made me feel good. Now, I serve this canned dog food under one eighth cup of Karina One Sparkling dry dog food, right? So in this instance, it's the dry dog food that um, that served as the topper to give it a little more substance so that she would be um, fuller for longer. Um, and again, we kept it with, with the lamb. That's a lamb flavor. This food's a lamb flavor, so there was consistency of flavor there. The moisture level on this particular food maxes out at 78%. So again, the surprising part of this is that it's more meaty it's very dense it's more it's more of a loaf it's not loose when you insert your spatula and you can't not easily coax it out of the can just by spooning it out it's very very dense so initially what I did to serve this lamb dinner to Sophia is I loosened the food with a little bit of water that I warmed in the microwave. Again, nothing special. Just put some water in the microwave, zapped it for one minute, and then poured it over onto the food to help loosen it so it wouldn't be in, in chunks or in that pate uh, style when she received it. And then I just went ahead and topped it with, uh, with dry dog food gave it a stir and it's a perfect balance of wet and uh, and dry now you don't have to do that some people might find that a little extra but that's, that's as close as i come to cooking for her actually and uh again we're only eating once a day i'm only serving her once a day i take my meal at the same at the same time of year so we're like best buds when it comes to meal time, right? And so I put up a bit of a, a fuss to make sure that she has a really, a really good meal so she can eat it, right? So um, that's that. Now, what happens after Sophia ate her food? <laughs> her eyes are um, as bright as ever. Now, this this test this actually took. About a week's time because 13.2 ounces of food is plenty of food for her to eat over the course of two and a half days and I did feed her this food consistently for two and a half days but I did blend it with foods that she was already familiar with so not only did I blend it with uh, the smart one uh, blend but I also blended it with uh, Solimo by Amazon and I also blended it with WAD by Amazon and so she did good. She didn't have any adverse reactions uh, to the food, which was nice. And uh, I felt comfortable that she received a really healthy, a really good meal. Now it's very light in color. You can see the vegetables uh, in there and it is aromatic. So, uh, so watch for that if you're going to purchase it. In fact, what I would recommend you do, just depending on how adventurous you are, open the can, and here's her empty. Um, open the can from both ends. I did, I I just open uh, from the top, right? But you can open from the bottom as well. And if you do, um, you can then push the loaf out, push it forward and push it out and then this way you can spice it like burgers um, if you choose to so again at 78 percent moisture foods canned foods can have a very different uh, different appearance and so um something that the, that um, we can do and let me know if you would be interested in seeing this is a comparison of foods that are at 78 percent uh, moisture level or 76% moisture level, just different brands of food at the same moisture level. And what those look like as they're served directly from the can without any other type of manipulation. This is really very different 
than some of the other foods I've reviewed in the past. It was food is really wet and very pliable. Um, it's like chunk style foods, primarily gravy. So um, this is um, this is really a very good buy. 13.2 ounces of food is quite a bit. Now most of my um, my folks know that Sophia's about a 12 pound dog. So that's a good amount of food for her. If you have a smaller dog, again, this is going to be a lot of food for your dog though. So again, she didn't lose any energy. Her eyes were bright and vibrant. Her coat is still shining like a diamond and she looks really, really good. Now this brand, it promises a few things and of course, uh, AFCO approves. The brand promises that they are choosing high quality ingredients for us and that they are bringing us high quality food. So, so far, so good. Um, again, I'm, I'm in agreement. The packaging is clean and neat for me. I like the appearance of, of this packaging. It has the feeling of clinically clean and it presents itself that way on the shelf um, as well. You just know you're getting something that's good and that was carefully uh, prepared. It doesn't look cheap and it doesn't feel cheap. So that's nice for, uh, for you as well. Now inside the can, this it is a little different. Um, I, this is coated and it has a color, if you can see that. It's not just the inside of a metal can. It's, uh, it's, it's treated and it has, a, it has a color. This is this sort of uh, clay color gray. And this color is in harmony with this black and white grayscale photo on the front of the can. So um, I like that it is coordinated with that particular image because by the time you get to the bottom of the can, you really do feel that you have gone on this little journey up the road, and, you know, to the to the tree. You, know, you get you sort of get the experience of serving um, this dish. So. Um, don't worry if you are thinking about purchasing this lamb dinner right now, but you're not thinking of serving this lamb dinner right now. The shelf life is good. The shelf life is very good too. So in case you're purchasing now, but not feeding this to your dog for a while, go ahead. Um, no worries. The expiration date on ours is September 3 of 2023, right? So we've only owned this particular can of food for seven days and it's not going to expire until September 2023. All right, so it's going to keep a good long while to decide to buy now and serve it later. Now listen, every time you go in and you get a food, it might not be a good one. So I did take some time and I did to research on whether or not this would actually be good to do. It, it caught my eye as I was look, looking at the new brands and searching uh, the new food for uh, what would be healthy, what would be a nice choice, what would be a nice try for her. Diamond Naturals is owned by Diamond Pet Foods. And yes, they have been recalled before. Have you ever heard of Taste of the Wild? know that one it's pretty popular uh, that one is also a brand that's owned by diamond pet foods and this company they actually used to make cattle feed and hog feed before they expanded their dog food line so at that time that they were producing those two types of food they were also uh, producing a dog chow and they were cooking that dog chow in these huge iron kettles and uh, they were actually producing enough of the dog chow to churn out uh, approximately four tons of food in 10 hours so they were really mass producing this uh, this dog chow on the side that's a great side hustle right now again this is a uh, diamond brand pet food and the D 
details of the recall are pretty simple. March 2013, there was a recall of Diamond Naturals cat food. And in April and May of 2012, that there was a very large recall. The recall was for Diamond and Diamond Naturals. Uh, the reason was the food tested positive for Salmonella. Now this recall was responsible for the recall of other brands produced at Diamond's plant in Gaston, South Carolina. In Gaston, South Carolina. All right, so those two uh, foods that were recalled as a result of this were Taste of the Wild and Natural Balance. Now, that's what I know. And since 2012, the potential for uh, salmonella poisoning has not presented itself uh, with this brand. Again, there hasn't been any more trouble. I went out and I purchased it for her. So, at the blog, we want to click on that link up there for more information on the lawsuits and the monies awarded due to recall, find out what happened with veterinary bills and how many dogs were affected and so on. I won't go into it. And again, a simple link under the section mark from our table and you'll find plenty of information there to see exactly where I got the information from. So uh, this is sort of a long review. Is this, I don't want to get too long, but I did want to ensure that I presented a thorough review of the product for you. The review isn't sponsored and I paid for the product with my own money and uh, my overall, overall impression of this food after two and a half days of serving this one can and one week of, of exercise and elimination, it is definitely a good deal for the price. Again, it isn't what I well, what I call cheap, and so you'll need to bring along at least three dollars with you to cover the food and the taxes. Sophia enjoyed it. There was zero regurgitation, zero diarrhea, zero constipation, stinky breath, no, belching, no, pardon, not at all, have a healthy, healthy, happy day, and so I have a link for you where you can get yours uh, online at Amazon, and listen, at the time that I went online to locate links for you all, the demand on the lamb dinner was very high. And also, I found the same to be true at Chewy.com. So you may not actually be able to access the lamb flavor in the Diamond Natural. So be ready for that. Chicken, beef, there's other flavors, but you may not be able to access the lamb. So you want to make sure that you on it now. I didn't see the flags and the tags on the screens about uh, being sold out, no longer available. Can't get it right now. And so uh, watch out for that. And again, thank you very much for, uh, for visiting with us. If you found any other information helpful, definitely uh, click subscribe. Come back and see us. Visit us over at the blog. You can also find us uh, online at facebook.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. I'm Jacqueline from the blog without the perspective.com.